Hi, my name's Marion. We're here together today to make some healthy bites. So we'll start today with a very healthy treat, which is a chipotle orange pecan. Then we'll follow that up with a lemon chicken pot sticker. Finally, we'll come back with a spicy shrimp cake that has a corn and avocado relish with it. All of them are great little treats. They are a wonderful use of really good for you fats, so we're gonna talk about fearless fats today. So let's get right to it. All right, great. Let's start with these spicy orange scented pecans. This couldn't be an easier thing to do. And it makes a great hostess treat any time of the year. Wonderful thing to do. Pecans, really healthy fat, good for you fat. Not, no fearful fat around here today. So we'll start with, there's basically three steps to this aside from the cooking. So we're gonna start with talking about zesting an orange. You hear this a lot, um, citrus zest, citrus rind, things like that. And one of the great tools that you can get for yourself is one of these microplanes. And a microplane is actually, the blades on here are shaped and they're just risen just enough to take only the very best part of a zest off of any of the citrus fruit. So the important thing to remember is it's not a grinding motion. You're literally just taking the edge of the orange and sweeping it down with a little twist of your wrist. And what that gives you, you can see on the back of the blade here, is just kind of a fluffy little essence of the orange. Well, of course I've cheated and already have a batch going, but the first step for us then is to uh, separate the egg and the white. And we just want the white of the egg and uh, the reason we do this is it helps the remaining ingredients to actually stick on uh, onto the pecans. So it keeps us from having to have a heavy coating, nice and light, tiny little bit of a protein boost, which never hurt anyone. We have a little bit of orange juice that goes in and that zest that we talked about, it's beautiful. The orange, the intensity of the orange in here is fantastic and the chipotle is great. So we just give that a little whisk to break up the egg white, otherwise it will kind of clump up onto the, um, onto the pecans. So we'll put that aside there. And we just add the pecans in, very simple. Give it a quick toss so that it's lightly coated. And it looks like a lot of um, egg white, but it's really not. It just helps everything to stick. And as these bake, that coating literally just disappears and melts into the, um, into the nuts. So this is a chipotle powder. And a chipotle is a jalapeno, just like what you'd get at the market, that's been smoked and dried, and in this case, ground. You could also find it in adobo, which just means it's been stewed in a tomato sauce. And if you have a hard time finding this, you can substitute it with just cayenne. What you won't get is that smoky flavor that you might, you know, that you would with this. Another thing that you can substitute with, which is actually even a little bit harder to find sometimes, but you're lucky if you can, is a smoked paprika, Spanish hot smoked paprika. Fantastic stuff. The other thing that we'll add in is um, a little bit of brown sugar. And just like everyone else's house, even on television, brown sugar gets a little bit hard. So we'll just break that up a little bit and stir it in. Uh, a little bit of kosher salt. We like kosher salt in our world a lot better, at least chefs typically do, just because it disperses better. You saw that I didn't get any kind of clumping at all. Again, a nice toss. You can tell when this has all been incorporated the way it should. It's fantastic. It smells so good in here. If only we had Smell-O-Vision. Then we'll just do a light coating of, uh, of pan spray. You don't need much. And then we spread that out. And don't worry about it going out perfectly on your first pass. We'll pull this in and spread it out lightly. You can double, triple, quadruple this batch up. It's just a matter of uh, kind of measuring the nuts and the spices out. You can add as much um, hot heat to this as you like. More chipotle is never gonna hurt anyone. Black pepper is great in here. You can really play with this with orange and or uh, lemon, lime, whatever you like really. So after that, we'll go into the oven. So our pan has been sprayed. Our nuts are nicely coated. We're gonna go into the oven. 225 degrees, about an hour. Uh, the key thing to remember is once you've gone into the oven, you can, um, that hour time frame is always subject. Uh, depends on how hot your oven is, but you want to be at least 45 minutes. Halfway through the 45 minute mark, stir at least once and then really watch it that last 15 minutes because once those things burn, they burn really fast. So we'll check those in a few minutes um, and then we'll move on to the next step, which is very simply just to allow them to cool and then toss in the cranberry 
and uh, enjoy them, of course. So we'll come back to that in a few. So our nuts have been in the oven for a little while. We're going in at about the 20 minute mark just to check them to see what we need to do about stirring them. Because we've sprayed this pan, you can see there's a little bit of our glaze there. It's a little bit sticky, nothing to worry about. And they should lift relatively easily. If they don't, again, nothing to worry about. I'm a tong person. A spatula will work just as well for you. So you just give them a nice stir. You can see that all that is starting to stick. It's beautiful. Smells so good again. And then we'll go for another uh, 10 to 15 minutes at least and possibly a little bit longer. And like I said before, keep a watch on those the last 15 minutes so they don't burn. Okay, great. So we've allowed the pecans to cool. And the simplest ending to this sweet treat is to add these dried cranberries, otherwise known as a craisin. And we're going to give them a stir. Super easy. And then I wanted you to know that um, even something that's as decadent as this can be good for you. Again, we were talking about the fact that it's a, it's a good fat, so nuts are very good for you. They have lots of fiber in them. Um, even just two tablespoons of pecans give you 10% of your daily fiber, which is a, you know, a pretty significant amount of fiber for the day. So even that will may give you a really great handful of a nice, sweet, and spicy treat. They really are delicious.